So I decided to do this one for fun. Anyway, this is an SOE OD in black large tool bag. Um, I think they call this the old school. Uh, this is the Twinkie pouch. I don't remember when this came out. Um, but it was uh, for a sales code. I have that attached just because I didn't have anywhere else to put it. I can put chargers and things in here. It's usually what I do is I just put a phone charger or something small in there. Um, pocket here is nothing in it. Pocket here, there's nothing in it. The limited edition combat culinary patch with the dog hair. Um, I don't know if you can still get these. Anywho, I have been using this as a traveling case, well, a travel pack, really, for chef stuff, because, you know, being that that's what I do, everybody kind of has come to expect it, and I kind of stopped wanting to get blindsided. So, this has everything that I have, well, this one case will solve about 95% of the problems I have in terms of equipment I need, uh, except for obviously heavy equipment like grills, smokers, ranges, ovens, things like that. Um, if I can carry it, it's in here. Damn, I need a thermometer in here. That's what I forgot. Anyway, so we're going to see how much crap an SOE large tool bag can hold. This has knives in it. As you can see, there's still plenty of room in here for more stuff. But I have a 21 inch slicer, a Santoku knife, which is probably rusted because I don't think I've even busted this thing out for a while. Oh no, it's not. This one probably is though. Yep, that one needs, that one's got a little bit of surface rust I need to get rid of. A sashimi knife, which I know has rust on it. Ooh, it doesn't. It's just got some, from when I sharpened it last, it's got some dust. A sharpening steel. Diamond, obviously. And a paring knife, which is adorable. I love my little paring knife. It's my little shaky shank. I throw all that crap back in there now so I don't forget. All right, now what do I have on the other side? Besides my Twinkie pouch, I have a whisk. Because for some reason nobody has these things ever. I have rubber spatulas, because I really need to get like six more of those. I have a microplane. You have no idea how useful these things are. You have no idea how useful these are, and it's covered in what well, looks like ginger. At least it's clean, just has ginger on it. You need to go in there, okay. Main pocket. One chef coat. My backup apron. Uh, I keep my SOE apron here, because I like to wear it. Another chef coat. A couple towels. A freaking cutting board. A doggo. Hey, doggo. Double-sided sharpening stone. Kitchen shears. That's a large OD mesh pocket in there. Um, I, the Velcro is really, really strong, so I might be able to get it out one-handed, but I doubt it. Nah, I'm not even going to try, because then I'll have to put it back. And I have a... Small mesh pocket right here. A little black one, which has wine keys, a multi tool, and a church key. This is a Leatherman Rev. That's what this is. It's just a small multi tool. I carry. I carried it every day for a while.
And then I have another large mesh pocket back here. Also SOE, because you know, <laughs> SOE makes the greatest stuff in the world. Oh, I actually don't have anything in there. Interesting. I thought I did. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to make figure that out. Anyway, um, I love this thing. I really do. Before I converted it into my travel case, I think I had car stuff like jumper cables and stuff like that in here. Um, but then I found that I actually needed to carry around cooking stuff more often than I needed car stuff. So I have another bag um, in the car with all that that's got like star wrenches and jumper cables and crap like that in there. And I started using this one as a chef travel case. It fits everything. I've got plenty of room for more stuff. Like I said, this pocket over here didn't even have anything in it. Uh, the whole thing probably weighs around 15 pounds-ish, give or take. Um, the way the straps are really balances the load out quite well. And I think this is the only one that includes the the polymer bottom to keep it to keep it flat, which also helps to distribute the load. I could load this thing with probably 300 pounds worth of stuff if I could get it all to fit in there, and I'm fully confident it wouldn't break. The stitching is fantastic, as always. I like having the patches here. I use a patch to denote certain things, like I know that this is my travel travel pack. I have a medic. Um, I have a zip, zippered knife pouch. Actually, I use as a small medical kit, which I need to put into plastic. But I have a medical sticker or a medical patch on that one to denote that. But there's about a thousand and one uses for the, for these things. I have a couple of smaller ones that I have everyday carry stuff. And I have a couple of toiletry bags, which I love. I have some zippered knife pouches and a wallet that I don't use anymore. Uh, of course, I have all the cocks. That's not mine, that's my dad's. And I have the patch panel and a lot more stuff. I'm wearing the belt. I'm wearing a belt um, and the key fob, Cobra key fob, which I love. Uh, I carry the wallet every day. You just can't. There's nothing bad to say about anything SOE. All their products are fantastic. I've worn... Actually... I'll do that one later. Uh, there is an SOE belt that I wore every day since the day I got it. Four years ago. That still holds up. I think I'll do that one next. Alright guys. I will let you get back to your day. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope, to, I hope uh, to post a little bit more and interact with you guys a little bit more. Like I said in the knife review, if there's anything else you want to know about this or any other product I own, uh, leave a comment in the comment section. I will do my best to get to it. Thanks. Bye.